She said I'm going to keep these on for five to ten days without them coming up at all. I don't think so. Well, you still can't scrub. I may have to put a gauze over it then. <laughs> guys that's Shay I'm Meek and this is Shay and Meek for real, for real. For real. we are we just dropped the kids off to school and um, Shay has physical therapy this morning as well as um, her follow up doctor's appointment from post-op or basically her post-op appointment is what I should say um so I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit of what we have going on today um don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when we have new videos go up um I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, cooking segment yesterday uh, let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see more of that I'm gonna do it anyway so you know if you don't like it just get past that video I guess um, but it was really fun I learned a lot with camera placement and all of that it was it was a lot it took me a lot longer to cook than what it would normally take but it was cool what have y'all had going on we have not posted a video. I have not uploaded a video. Um, I don't think I loaded a video last week. I loaded a video the week before, I believe. Um, I've been exhausted, y'all, like, truly. I have um, been doing a lot of driving. My work schedule has me up late. My life schedule has me up early. So, I haven't been uh, able to truly focus to get a video out, but I'm trying to reassess and uh, figure out how I can be more consistent. Or If y'all can get daily vlogs and you work a nine to five, more power to you. I don't see how you can do it, but you know. I work a nine to five, so it's a little bit more difficult to get daily vlogs up, but I'm gonna try to do weekly vlogs at least until something changes, I guess. And I said I was also gonna do the cooking videos once a week. So whatever day of the week that I make something different, then I'll try to I'll try to record either with setting the camera. I'm gonna get my eyes clear. Still on crutches. I got you all in the camera. Well, that's how it's set up in here. This is in the way. I am very tired. Between physical therapy being housebound, can't drive, is mentally draining. But, you know, I am making progress. I am making progress or whatever, so. Yeah. Shout out to my mama for coming this weekend or Saturday to help me. But uh, <laughs> that was a very long day. She helped me wash my clothes, grocery shop, went out to eat. I didn't do any of that, so. Nah, meat had to work. But then she lost her keys, y'all. Talking on the phone, not paying attention. It delayed her getting home three hours. So I still leaving like 5.30, she left at 8.30. Called the first parking lot people through her insurance company. 
his tool was broke. We had to wait an hour on him. So then we had to end up calling two people. We went back through the insurance company. He was and, about we, to get beat up. and then we called our own person. And our own person came out quicker. Unlocked the car. Ain't no keys in the car. Because she thought her keys was in the car. I go back searching through my car. And it's it's damn 9 o'clock, 9.15 at night. The keys are stuck between um, the passenger seat and the middle console. So, I told her she ain't, she ain't wasting nothing but time because they'll uh, hopefully, you know, state farm will reimburse her. But it was just tiresome because that was my first time being out all day on crutches and trying to maneuver and it was a hot day to come home and still have to put in three more hours that I wasn't expecting but it happens Hamstrings hurt. Quads. It's a no. Um, it's a problem over Any there. numbness or tingling? Yes. Put... Are you still taking the aspirin? Yeah. How about the hydrocodone? No. Is here okay? This gonna hurt. Okay. <laughs> You've got two in there. All I do is just pull up a little bit, tug, and then just pull it out. It'll be really quick, I promise. Shouldn't be too bad. Are you allergic to iodine or shellfish? Not down the world. Okay. Now I'm just going to put some glue on it, get some steri strips, just to keep it closed, okay? Okay. These steri strips will stand for about 5-10 days, you can shower with these on. Okay. That's, that's not an issue. <laughs> it's probably a little cold, huh? <laughs> a little tender. On this side? Yeah. How's the inside? This side? That side's okay yeah. though? Yeah. Well, this is the, this is the, it's been so swollen since surgery. That this is the best my knee has been. Uh huh. So from what I could tell this morning, it's sore from around the outside. Yeah. Okay. On the right side, top to the like that uh -huh. first 
90 degrees right now. Okay. And then sometimes right here, when I'm doing exercise, exercises, but she explained why. Yeah. Okay. She thought I'm gonna be able to keep these on for five to ten days without them coming up at all. So. Well, you still can't scrub. I may have to put a gauze over it then. Preserve it while I'm in the shower. Mm. Or bandage the bandage to preserve it. Maybe. <clears throat> it's hot in here. It's not hot to me at all. It ain't fresh air. And you're you're working right now, right? No, I didn't even go back. I can't sit at the desk. Oh, uh, you didn't go back. No. Okay. And what's the company called that you work for? Allstate. Allstate? Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Thank you. How did it feel for her to take the stitches out? I ain't feel nothing. I felt her like raise a little bit just to clip it. Mm -hmm. And it literally came through. It just felt like somebody just. And the, and, and the physical therapist said she ran up and said it was just like this. Mm -hmm. You'd be nervous. My first time around, who won't be nervous? Not me. Whatever. Well. We got them. We were in like Houston like or something, I think. Or something. Yeah, like a shoe show. Really? Oh, so you're really into shoes? Y'all into shoes? Mm -mm. Not I'm not. Clothes. Not at all. No. Yeah. Clothes and comfortability. I hear you. You're a little swollen, ain't you? Yeah. But that's it's from that release. <clears throat> so the release just sucks. But in terms of like the post op recovery, but um, so you got ways to go. Where are you doing your therapy at? Dreyer and Irma. Okay. Get your pictures. So here's inside your knee, femur, tibia, meniscus. This before or after? This is the whole thing, just kind of as we go along. Okay. So this is kind of before. There's your ACL. Okay. And this is just uh, the inner part of the knee, the outer part of the knee, and the inside, the outside. All look perfect, nothing there. And then here's your ACL again. And then here's your kneecap. There's your femur. So the tracking wasn't bad. You were set aside just a little bit here, but nothing crazy. And then this is where we do the lower release, where we just release some of that tissue over there. Um, I went and did that because you were sitting a little out. So I was like, hey, it ain't gonna hurt. You were a little tight. So I thought it, I think it was 50-50 on whether or not to do it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's gonna hurt you to do it. I just don't know. We'll see if that's, you know, the fix for this, but we cleaned up your knee pretty good. Um, well, so it was a clean up to do meniscus. Well, so, no, no, not meniscus. Meniscus were fine. This is more the fat pad. So okay. we clean up that fat pad. Yeah, meniscus look great. Okay. Well, but the main thing is keep working on your motion. Are you got good motion now? Are you a little stiff? Stiff? Yeah, you got to push through that. Um, my biggest <laughs> hurdle is sitting down. Uh -huh. I can't sit down. Ten, ten minutes. When you have your knee bent? Go straight. Everything okay. behind uh -huh. this, it can go numb or okay. um, just even sitting in the waiting room, uh -huh. my toes was tingling. Okay. So I, that's why I haven't been back to work because I have you to sit. You don't go back to work yet. Okay. We'll keep you up. Like I said, once you get that loud release, the knee's a little bit more annoyed than just a regular debridement. So I will see you back in a month.
I would work at least another two weeks. Okay. You're going to turn the corner. So I got a question. Mm -hmm. Um, Is it normal that I can't move it sitting down? What do you mean? Like I can do this, uh -huh. but sitting down, I can't lift it. Laying down, I can't lift it. That's because you don't want to move your leg right now? I can't. Like if I sit down, I can't lift this leg at all. Just set up there. Let me see what you can do. I would really prefer a chair. Because <laughs> it, it's going to dangle. It's going to hurt to dangle my... The leg? Yeah. There you go. Just bring it up there. Good. You do any therapy at Dreher? Mm-hmm. You feel me touching you here? Yeah, but it's uh, tender. Mm-hmm. Try to raise the leg up. Raise it up. Go up, 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 up. Go up this way. Up, 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 up. Yeah, you're just not wanting to fire your quads at all right now. She's been working on that. Did they give you a little machine? They do it every day for 30 minutes. And it it does all that. When I ice it at home, it does it, but it's it's not getting any It'll get better. Any well since surgery hasn't been proven at all for us. It's like I don't even have a leg right now. I I just feel this, I can't let me see, bring your leg out, kick it out. Go, 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 go. Does that hurt? It don't hurt. I just, Can't I don't do feel it. anything to do it. I don't, I don't feel the muscle. Bend your knee a little bit. Go back, go, 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 go. Good, now go back out. Go, 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 kick it out, kick it out. Go, go, go. There you go. Yeah, you're extremely weak. Mm-hmm. Don't play with me, Shane. <clears throat> I look like a big lime green Laffy Taffy. Why you got the whole camera on you? I I didn't do that. Now it's all the way on me. Oh well. You ain't got it. You ain't got it twist firm enough if it if it's moving. That's why I throw it out. So tired, y'all. Oh, they do got a substation too over here. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Cause they too is like Roman numerals. Yeah, like mm -hmm. all of them. Realtor, I sell houses. Where? That's what it says. I sell houses. On the on a license plate. Mm -hmm. Is that hurting you? On my, yeah, on my knee against the dough. No. Mm -hmm. So y'all, we just finished Shay's physical therapy appointment that I didn't go in for and um, her appointment to remove her stitches. Just finished that as y'all see. Could see. Hey, Cody, this Shay. Pretty good. I just left uh, my follow-up appointment, and um, the orthopedic want to know. Right 
So, we forgot to do the food review at the restaurant. Whew. Sorry for my out of breath, y'all. I just had to climb up a flight of stairs. So, babe, tell them what you had to eat. Well, where did we go? We went to Blue Marlin in the Vista. Mm hmm Um... Yeah, that's where we went. Blue, Blue Marlin steaks and seafood is what it said. Yep. And I had the um teriyaki grilled teriyaki salmon that um automatically comes with uh green beans and mm -hmm. red rice. Mm -hmm. But I substituted the red rice for French fries since it's cooked with like pork and stuff. Um Green beans were horrible. Um, <laughs> it tastes it tastes like like you know vegetables, frozen vegetables in a bag. Like it tastes like the plastic. Um, it was very seasoned, but it had this taste like uh, just plastic. And the teriyaki sauce was not teriyaki. It was more so like gravy. Gravy. Yeah. Yeah. And it didn't. They didn't like grill it in or. Let it settle in with the salmon. It was just it like just a pour on. on. Yeah, like they just poured it on and just took a spoon and just spread it out. Um, the gravy wasn't bad, but it wasn't warm either. Uh, it was like room temperature. So the salmon was hot. The gravy tastes like it came. It been sitting in the bottle. Um, but my fries were good. And fries the were good. The, the ketchup was, was good. good. The tea was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tea was good. Um. Yeah, y'all like my y'all like my love. I died a little couple, couple, couple. I I died it. Me. Y'all, this this my head is done. Now I don't know if y'all consider this done, but it it's has done. been washed. It has been bleached and dyed, and my my grays ain't showing right now. And this process took about about five and a half six hours a day so yep. i had it's i want it to be a little bit lighter this is my let me tell them what i had before you oh yeah yeah, yeah go ahead i had the uh blackened cod with the same string beans mm -hmm. and i got some loaded garlic mashed potatoes mm -hmm. and i had a grapefruit refresher Refreshing grapefruit spritzer. Um, the drink was good. Um, their water was crisp. It was good. The little basket of bread they gave us at the table was okay. It ain't Carabas. It ain't Carabas. Okay. It ain't Longhorn. It ain't Red Lobster. You know, they got, they got biscuits. You know. It Don't ain't, it ain't the, the Calabash. It just wasn't... It wasn't... It wasn't our favorite. Um, the... The string beans, like Shay said, were not good. They was real crunchy. It was like um, too crunchy. When I found they were fresh, like we could tell they were fresh string beans, but it was like they just put the seasoning on top. Not that they actually cooked it with seasoning, um, but the ones that were cooked down a little bit more tasted better or taste better. taste better. Um. The loaded mashed potatoes were bomb. It was like if I took some mashed potatoes and got me a little string bean and put it together, it was perfect. If I did the same thing with the cod, it was perfect. I put salt on my food. The cod was okay, but it was like this big. Mm -hmm. And um, it yep. needed some more seasoning. For it yeah. to be blackened, you would think it would be like seasoned really well. So, you know... I would have to say this was a fail. Um, the, <laughs> the mashed potatoes was good. Yeah, like, mashed the best mashed potatoes I had in a long time. But everything else was just like maybe we got the wrong thing. Yeah. I don't know. But I was gonna go for like this grilled yeah, chicken. Ball look kind of cute on the camera. Grilled now. chicken with um, uh, sun dried tomatoes. Yeah, I think roasted spinach cheese. and goat cheese. I was gonna try that, but I was like, they ain't have salmon in a minute, and let me just. Do something a little bit different. But, babe, I appreciate I'm you. Proud of you. Yeah, I appreciate you taking me out because but this has been a very hard week. Well, 
I want to say a couple of weeks um, with me being out with my surgery and what have you and Tamikio wearing many hats. So I appreciate you. And the day is what? Women's Day? International Women's Day. International Women's Day. International Women's Day to Mm -hmm. all of our lovely ladies. So my question to you is what would you rate um, from a scale of one to five, five being the greatest, what would you rate? Blue? You can't do one to ten. No, so it's, it's too much. Blue Marlin. And that's what it's called, Blue Marlin? Yes, I would give it a 2.5. Dang. The, the two, you can the read point, my mind, The babe. point five is for the refresher. The two is for, my stomach look big. The two is for the mashed potatoes. The mashed potatoes were good. Yeah, they were they were good enough to give it a two. I was gonna say two point five as well. Uh, that was my second time being out like in a restaurant in a very long time, like mm-hmm. several weeks. Um, but uh, we didn't have a good seat neither. Let me tell you they something. They walked my ass. They walked us all the way the in the back, right, right with before the kitchen, crutches. with me on crutches. And, and our food ain't come out piping hot. It didn't, and. But I will say, from what I can see, like from where what I could see in a the restaurant, there really wasn't any other seats. From True. what I can see, I think this is a place and that some takes that reservations. They take so reservations, people, so you know they probably put they probably have sections for people that don't make reservations, right. and it's typically not the best seats. I will also say I can't remember what our waitress's name was, but she was pleasant. Yeah, she very was tall. <laughs> she was very very tall. Um. Yeah, so she also I could I could give the restaurant a three just for her, okay? I really didn't even want French fries. She didn't, but when they said that they had uh, beef or pork, I think it was pork, pork in the rice. She was like, okay, well I, I'm yeah, not gonna get that. I'm not. But you should have got those mashed potatoes though. What's your French? But then the I had French fries. Was good. So I, did, I was, was thinking good. about getting the mashed potatoes, but I was like, well, damn, I'm getting French fries. So let me just try to eat the shrink, shrink. It, and I'm saying stream beans because that's what I, I really green wanted beans. to be, but it was really green beans, which is two totally different things. Um, What's the difference? Stream beans is, is more circular. It's like circular. I'm going to have to Google that. The, the green, the green beans was like, was like, it's like um, asparagus. Not as circular, but the ends of it, like they keep the. Ends what do y'all on think? It. Are they the same or are they different? Because I thought they were the same thing. Maybe it's the it, you know they have different types of green beans as well as they have the, different the types of stream the beans. They cut them so you don't even know that the mm-hmm. thing looks like that. Because okay, they cut so the like ends off. the green the green beans you just fixed those aren't stream beans. They call French green beans. Which no, those are not French. Those are Italian. And I would no, go downstairs and get the you other candy, think, girl. You must not make the uh, you must not make. The I kind. mean the flat ones. And those are Italian. It, listen, you want to go get the candy? Why would a stream bean be Italian? Shay, I will go get the other candy. The thing to said. Prove you the thing wrong. said French cut green beans. Don't cut the video. I'm definitely about to cut this video because my arm hurting. But yeah, y'all, that's the update. And. If you're ever in town, I do not recommend town is Columbia, South Carolina. I do not recommend Blue Marlin. Um, but if you have eaten there before and you have certain, you know, something that you like, you know, that you rock with from from the restaurant, you can comment below and share that. Maybe we'll give it a, a second chance. I'm not the type of person for second chance, especially when it comes to food. But um, you, you just never know. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy International Women's Day. Peace.